This is the old neuron model as opposed to the new neuron model. And we'll start out in the same basic area. So we have the cell body here, and off of the cell body we have many small processes that are dendrites. These dendrites, or the cell body, may have these flexible orange items on them. These are axon terminals, and then the synaptic knob of the presynaptic neuron. So what we're seeing the majority of here is the postsynaptic neuron. So the synaptic knobs release vesicles that stimulate receptors on the dendrites and cell bodies of the postsynaptic neuron. Now I'm going to take off the clear covering and look inside the cell body. The coloration here is different than in our previous model. So in the very center with the two red dots we have the nucleus with the nucleoli. Over on this section here, this red area which is fairly large is the Golgi apparatus. We have smooth ER and over here we can see red dots all over the same gray looking material. This is our rough endoplasmic reticulum, a chromatic chromatophilic substance or nissel substance. We have vesicles in yellow here and some of these smaller red items that are in here are meant to be mitochondria. Now if we take this model and we follow it down, this is our axon here, we also can see mitochondria inside of here. And there would be vesicles moving down this axon as well. Covering the area where, the area where our cell body narrows into the singular axon, we have the axon hillock and the neurofibrils in here, which help give that axon hillock shape and structure to narrow it down. This is where our axon is now cut so we can see the openness inside, but again this is that same axon over here that will continue all the way down. So here we have two Schwann cells. We can see the nuclei of our Schwann cells in the neurolemia very nicely. We can see layers many, many layers to our Schwann cells. This is the connection spot here. Let's see if I can disconnect that. Between two different Schwann cells, so this is the node of Ranvier. It may not be as clear as in the previous model, but yes, the axon is open at this spot for saltatory conduction, so the signal from up here can jump to here and to the next node and the next node. Around the outside of that, we have this gray material. And you can get the idea of fibers in here. This is a connective tissue layer called the endoneurium. And I believe I've covered everything. If I haven't, please let me know. But again, myelin sheath is made up of all the layers of the Schwann cell itself. Let me know if I've missed anything. Thank you.